event of the evening. Fight, five minute rounds, light heavyweight, five nights global championship. Представляю вам судейский корпус. Главный судья Мейн Джордж Юрий Батман. Судьи у клетки at cage sides three judges covering this championship bout. Тимур Сакуров, Фарид Нагаев и Александр Сулимин. Ваш судья хранит здесь your timekeeper Исмаил Джабуй. И со звуком сирены ваш рефери в октагоне. And when the siren sounds, your referee judge Ян Фаборник, Czech Republic. Итак, дамы и господа на трибуну. Миллионы фанатов смешанных боев во всем мире. В прямом эфире на матч ТВ. Бой за титул чемпиона Fight Nights Global. Lead the gentlemen and the tenants and the millions and the fans around the world live on Match TV Championship Pal. Представляю вам соперников и первым претендента. В синем углу клетки. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger. Face of 26 years. Рост 191 сантиметр, вес 93 килограмма, ровно. He's 26 years old. He stands 191 сантиметр, soul. Official weight 93 килограмм, сибла. Его профессиональный рекорд 23 победы при 5 поражениях. His professional record 23 victories and 5 defeats. Мастер спорта по кёкусинка и карате и боевому самбо, бывший боец UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, combat samba and karate master of sports and UFC former fighter. Представляющий северный десант и команду Industrials. Родом из Донбасса, а ныне бьющийся за Нижний Вартовск, Россия. Ladies and gentlemen, born in Donbass and now fighting other than Dirty Vartovsk, Russia. Nikita Shakhtar Trevor! Его соперник в красном углу клетки, обладатель чемпионского пояса. And he's the opponent across the cage, fighting world champion, Brazilian judges and boxing Brazilian champion, and the reigning, defending, fight nights global, light heavyweight champion, represent Final instructions. Hello guys, you know the rules as well. Please follow it all time. Follow my instructions. Protect yourself all time. Fight fair, fight well, and always for win. If you want to touch glass, do that and go back to your corner. I wish you good luck in your fight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape here for our co-main event for the title. The height will go to Krylov. The age goes to Krylov, and very very similar. In their experience, folks, this is it. It's a five-round battle for the light heavyweight championship. Nikita Krylov taking on Fabio Maldonado. Maldonado is in that camouflage gray, and in the back, in the black, that's Nikita Krylov, and there we go. We're going to start it off in a very, very unfortunate way. Down goes Fabio Maldonado. That's something you don't hear very often. Let's take a look. I mean, right on the money. And Maldonado is down and out. He'll have up to five minutes to recover. He's going to take every bit of that. Trust me, though. Keep in mind, this is one of the best warriors in all of the sport. If he can fight, he'll fight. The doctor's going to have to come take a look. And we've seen some pretty nasty stuff in this sport, to be honest with you. And if you kick that area right in the right spot, it can be catastrophic. Not just that it hurts, that something could be damaged in a bad way. So they're going to take a look right now. And, and Maldonado, listen, if Maldonado can fight, Maldonado will fight 100%. This is a guy that has never ducked out of a situation. Let's take a look again. I mean, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Take your time. Five minutes, okay? Maldonado's going to get to his feet because, you know, he's Fabio Maldonado.
Well, he was. Doctor took a look at it. Obviously, this place is going to lose their minds, their collective minds, if the fight doesn't happen. Maldonado, I still believe he has a couple minutes, so he's going to try to shake this thing off. I mean, but right now, he's laid completely out. A lot of times you see you try to get a fighter standing up, get him moving around. Maldonado's not doing that. I don't know if that's the best formula, but he's in a bad way right now. Kind of smirk on the face. You could see him, Nikita Krylov. And obviously, you know, he wants this fight to continue, and, and he's thinking to himself, it's probably not that bad, but, you know. Can he continue? He's That's right. And we continue. Give Maldonado a lot of credit, man. He was in some serious pain. He's going to fight on. Freelof kicks hard. That is, that's, that's what his specialty is. So to take one of those shots straight to the nether regions, I mean, that's going to take anybody out. If your name's not Fabio Maldonado, then I'd say you're done. Maldonado tells Kraloff to go ahead and bring it on. Look at those hand motions. He says, come on, bring it. Nice combination. Kraloff, I mean, I don't know that Nikita Kraloff has even hit the prime of his career. That's one of the most amazing things. And, and you talk about a guy that had a, a positive run in the UFC, had some great finishes. Charging forward with a big, stiff left hand is Fabio Maldonado. But he makes the jump to fight Knights Global, and that's the only way to put it. I mean, there's a lot of hype coming out of this organization, one of the best in the world. And, and Kreloff wanted to be here, he wanted to be in Russia. Maldonado, a different story, a guy that's been all the way to the top. He, he said that the fight against Fedor was a turning point in his life, an amazing part of his life, even though he lost. But he still wants to battle. He still has it running through his veins. So here we are. And he has a championship around his waist. On paper, though, you want to give this thing to Nikita Krylov. But your heart says Fabio Maldonado. Swing and a miss by Kreloff. He's he's been throwing the shots. He's Maldonado's taking everything that he's got and said, bring it on. And this is, you know, Fabio Maldonado at his best. I mean, we talk about the fight against Omarov. His championship bout, he just let Omarov get tired. He will literally let you punch him in the face for three rounds, four rounds, just to tire you out. Oh, and Maldonado's underneath the chin. Could be trouble. How bad is it, though? He's got Kreloff tied up. Kreloff is so good on the ground, trying to free his neck. Surely not. How deep is it from this angle? You can't really tell. It doesn't look like Kreloff's in trouble, though. He's going to pop out. Bad place here for the champ as he takes elbows to the chin. Now some hammer fists from the younger, faster, perhaps more hungry, Nikita Kreloff. The Miner's digging. He's digging for gold here in Rostov on Don. Can he strike gold? Jan Vobornik's going to give Fabio Maldonado a lot of respect. And if you're Maldonado, you don't want to sit there and be on the ground and just take elbow after elbow. Never a recipe for success. Kreloff, now trying to grab a hold of that arm. But for a second, it looked like he isolated the arm. But he's just going to continue to batter. Maldonado surprisingly not opened up yet. 
the guys like the Ric Flair of MMA, it doesn't take much, and then he just starts leaking the blood. Maybe more Dusty Rhodes than Ric Flair. Kenny Kreloff still in a very, very advantageous position. Has the knee on the belly and just keeps dropping elbows. Now an elbow across the throat of Maldonado. Now Maldonado, I believe he is leaking a little bit of blood. It wouldn't be a Fabio fight if he didn't bleed just a little bit. Maldonado shields his face from the beating. And that is going to get us to the end of the round. A auspicious way to start the fight. So let's go back to work. Second round. Ready? Fight. Round two. Let's see if we see a little bit more life out of Maldonado. See a little bit more offense. He ate most of those shots while on the ground. Took a lot of damage to the head. That time he catches the leg and unable to do anything with it. Great anticipation by Maldonado. Just ducking out of the way. A big spinning kick. Or Kreloff looks like he is on target. All systems go for the minor. Seems like all the damage that may have happened there in the, the groin areas sapped away, and Maldonado is officially into this fight. He just has to watch out for those legs, those kicks of Kreloff. Of course, Maldonado, not a guy that's easily submitted either. Most of the time, if you beat Maldonado, you're knocking him out or you're subbing him out. Kreloff, of course, has such a great submission game, a great ground game. If he could be you know, one of the only people to submit a Fabio Maldonado, that would be huge. Oh, you know, Kreloff pouring it on now. Beautiful combination. Close to the distance, can he bring the big man down to the ground? Still to come, folks, in our main event. David Hachatron in a five-round battle with Peter Queeley. Still to come in the main event. Fight Nights Global 87. Cyrus Lee's on the call for you in this light heavyweight championship bout. Well, just using Maldonado as a punchy bag, and there's a big right hand. Maldonado still got pop. Down to a knee. What a shot by Kreloff. Magnificent power here for the challenger. Oh, and now the blood is pouring. Now we got a Maldonado fight. Never stopped him before, though. But he even said, you know, before the fight, you know, I bleed a lot. Broken the nose four different times, jaw. This is nothing new to him. The blood, I think more than anything, the blood kind of gets him riled up. It takes him to another gear. Oh, how about Fabio Maldonado charging forward with a nice left hook? Reloff looking for a takedown. Not going to be easy to do against the champion. Him out. Three minutes, 33 seconds of the third round. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time. Three minutes and 33 seconds of round number two. Adirjal Pabedo 
нокаутом и стал новым чемпионом Fight Nights Global по мультишовом весе. Your winner by knockout victory and the new Fight Nights Global Light Heavyweight Champion Nikita Shakhtar Green.